I'm Catherine Whitehat with the Nash Key Away It's All Creations. Uh, if you don't speak Navajo, that translates to Navajo Boys Creative Board Creations. Uh, my husband makes the creative boards and I stain them, uh, strap them together with leather, and I also make bedding. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions asking us how we string our creative boards together. Um, and if you are uh, attending the Changing Woman Initiative workshop in Kanta, this will um, this video is actually uh, kind of based on that as well. Um, we will show you the kit that you're gonna get and um, go from there. So everybody got a uh, two long boards, a uh, Mother Earth and a Father Sky. Two backings, the long ones for the top, the short ones for the bottom, uh, the footboard or the small rainbow, and um, two sides for the rainbow here, and um, a bag of leather. Every um, kit came with pre-cut leather and um, uh, directions uh, saying where these go. So uh, this one is from A. And um, in the directions that we have, A actually is from the middle ties right here, the ones that hold the two crater boards together. Um, I won't be using these leather today um, because this is a customer's crater board and um, not from the kit. So I will just be using my own leather, but not from there. This is just for um, the kit purpose to show kind of what comes in the kit. Uh, so the first step. You want to have a clear head and you want to have good thoughts about babies. So if you want your baby to grow up strong and healthy, then you'll think good thoughts about being your baby being strong and healthy. Or uh, for example, if you want them to uh, be fluent in Navajo, the neck catcher, then um, you will say that. Uh, just keep thinking positive thoughts the entire time that you're putting your creative board together. Um, now uh, this is white cedar. Um, white cedar actually is a blonde and white mixture instead of the uh, more traditional aromatic cedar which is a red and white mixture. Um, this customer specifically wants um, the white parts showing up on top instead of on bottom. So uh, this is not a mirror image creative board. So um, this is going to be her top. It's showing the white parts on both middle um, pieces of the cradle board and so since we're going to be working with the back first you're going to want to flip this over so um, that's also true for your kits you um, will get to pick whichever side you want on top um, whichever side um, you would like to choose uh, each board is individually their own none of them are mirrored um, and each one will have their own beautiful uh, features to them. So uh, let's get started. Um, if you are doing the cradle board kits, you're going to want to grab the um, leather that says A or the four middle ties. And um, I'll show you how to get started. I like to pull it off the edge a little bit just so that way... Um, I can grab the leather from underneath the cradle board. It makes it a little bit more easier. Um, and you're gonna take your piece of leather and the end, and you're gonna go down the first hole, pull it from underneath a little bit, and then go up the second hole. So you see how it's coming out that second hole there? So you're gonna pull it a little bit, and then you're gonna do the same thing again. Go down the first hole, Pull it a little bit and then come back up the first the second hole so you kind of want to get it to be a little bit evened out right there so that way you have um, you're able to just tie a gentle shoe knot just an under or an over you don't want this to be tight you want it to just um, start being able to hold it together so that you can continue on um, doing these other four but as you will see you will have two straps of leather on each, going through each hole. Um, now, um, I'm gonna do the rest, the other three off camera, and then we'll meet you back here uh, once we go on to the next step. Okay, we're back. Um, this is what 
each of the holes are gonna look like. And like I said, it's just kind of loosely holding it together. We're not tying it tight yet. Um, there's a reason for that. So you wanna grab your backing, your bottom backing. Um, all of our bottom backings are gonna have either our stamp or our um, signature on the bottom, um, depending on if you got the first batch or the second batch. Um, so this goes on just like this. And then your top one doesn't have anything on it and it's going to go right up here at the top. So now you're gonna grab your leather that's labeled B as in boy. Um, and like I said before, I'm not using that leather, but um, I, uh, it helps you to be able to get um, that clarification of which, which one you should be using. So this is gonna be the same process as this, except for you're going down this whole on the backing and the cradle board and you're going to pull it quite a bit and you're going to go back up through that second hole and you're just going to go right back down that first hole all the way to the bottom kind of got to move around the leather a little bit and then go right back up that second hole again. Sometimes you just kind of got to play with it. And this is why we don't tie these ones tight yet, is because sometimes it doesn't want to come out of your hole. So you need to be able to um, pick up your backing and see what's going on in there and maybe just thread it through like that. Um, and also on older cradle boards, um, most of the holes for the backing don't line up at all. Um, so this, this way helps um, give that cradle board a little bit of um, not as much tension. Um, so that way if you need to maneuver the leather, you still can. And here I'm just kind of pulling the leather down so that I get a nice tail right here. Um, and then again, I'm going to cut off of my roll and give it a nice gentle shoe tie knot just like that. Just like the first four that you completed. So now you're going to do that for this hole and for these two and then meet back. Hi, right, we're back. So you should have all four of these backing ties um, just gently tied. Now I'm gonna show you uh, how I tighten this knot. So I untie it from its loose butterfly uh, shoe tie knot. And I kind of push this one down a little bit so that way you can feel the loop down below while holding this one, this first hole leather, kind of tight. You want to grab with your thumb and your finger in the loop that just came down here. Let me see the loop? So you're going to grab just like this, coming out of right here, not this one, this one. While holding this one, you're going to give it a little tug. You're going to notice that it's going to snug up this middle, this middle leather like this and then just pull that one tight so now when you feel it should be pretty tight not loose you're gonna tie one shoe tie knot fairly tight don't pull too hard to break your leather um, so you want it snug but not over tight and you're just going to turn that knot sideways like this this will hang on to your knot while you're tying your second knot. Um, too often at times, this knot will start to loosen while you're tying your second knot, and that will cause your cradle board to be loose, and you don't want that. Um, loose leather can um, actually break <laughs> these backings. Um, I've seen it happen before where uh, leather came loose up top right here, and um, what happened was is it created a lot of extra tension on this backing piece and it broke in half so that's your first knot so now um, see I let go and it's it's holding but you need another knot so go ahead and do another shoe tie knot 
and you're just going to pull that snug. Crap, I broke it. Excuse me, um, that was uh, a, a little alarming. Most of the times, my leather doesn't break, um, but every once in a while, it does. Um, so right now, you can see about how long that is, and that's actually about how long it is after we cut it. So I usually leave them about that long anyway. Um, there was, uh, I inspected the integrity of the knot, and the knot is still um, very strong and holding. That uh, actually broke away from the knot and not in the knot structure. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. But that's a very teachable moment. Uh, don't pull too hard um, because that's what will happen. Um, even the strongest of leather does break. So just uh, give it a good amount of tension, but don't pull too hard. Um, so now you're gonna come do this process for the for the backing knots and the other three um, middle knots and this one. And I'll meet you back here once we're all done so I can show you um, how all the, how I'll shortly tie, uh, cut the leather. So we're back. Um, I got all these knots tightened. I'm gonna go pretty slow. I left these last two so I can show you how I cut them. Um, but first, you know, before you cut any leather, you you need to make sure that your cradle board is. Uh, sorry about that interruption. My daughter's video stopped playing. But um, as I was saying, before you cut your ties, you need to make sure that your um, cradle board isn't loose anywhere. Um, if you can move your your mother earth and your father sky back and forth it's too loose um it can make that kind of a that noise that's fine that's just the uh clear coat that we put on all of our creative boards to protect the wood um so if you don't have any parts moving back and forth see i'm kind of giving it a good push with both ends and nothing's moving um then go ahead and cut your leather. If you want to leave it long, feel free to leave it long. There's no nothing wrong with that. Um, but I like to trim them up. Having kids myself, um, the they do kind of um, stick to your leg when you're holding it onto your leg. So I like to trim them off. I'm just using a basic pair of scissors here. Nothing fancy. And, uh, so now we are going to move on to the footboard part or the small rainbow. So you are going to want to flip your cradle board right side up and bottom. So that, cause you're gonna be working from right here, just like this. And um, if you are doing the uh, cradle board kits, you're gonna want to grab the leather that's labeled C and D. Um, the only reason I combined them all together is because it's all for this piece. So um, C is going to be here as well as its corresponding holes on the cradle board right here. And then D is going to be, um, they call it the sunbeam. And this uh, actually will, the lightning will pass through the sunbeam and hold the footboard up. So um, you also get to pick which side you want up. Both of these sides look pretty much the same so that doesn't really matter um, our customer wants a lot more blonde showing up front so I'm going to choose this side and you're just going to lay it right there and you're going to match up the holes underneath um, so then you're going to take your leather and uh, you're going to thread it all the way down so it went through both pieces here and then you're gonna pull quite a bit and then you're gonna go back down through the same hole so you have it wrapped twice and it will look like this with um, some leather on this end and some leather on this end so um, I tie these a little bit differently I don't tie them in a knot right in the center um, I do make 
in the end uh, just a regular knot if you find that your leather is a little bit on the thinner side which it can happen um, then make a double knot just make another knot right on top of this other one and that will give it a little bit better hold sometimes that happens um, you know we can't we can't go to our, our leather supplier and say hey we need all thick leather because that's just the way that they get it from their manufacturer so now you're going to pull on this loop here and it is going to pull up that knot and you see how it is not going in into the bottom hole you don't want it to go all the way through and then once you've got this knot you just pull so you want to leave all your extra slack hanging out and um, i'm going to cut mine you don't need to cut yours um, until you actually get it done and then you're going to do the same thing for this hole and i'm going to do it again on camera because it is a little bit trickier than just a double knot um, which was uh, like for the middle ties and for the backing ties so i went all the way through both boards and then you go through again sometimes it takes a little bit of wiggling and sometimes you need more than one hand so <laughs> and if it's still not coming out then you lift up your cradle board foot board and you find the end and you stick it down through the hole Sometimes it's uh, how the leather kind of gets twisted and it will um, get stuck on the first strand that you put through there. So you see it coming out through the bottom. So now we're just going to give it a little pull. Kind of needs a little bit more, more leather so I'm going to adjust that. So this is a little bit thicker piece here. Um, so I think it's only going to need one knot and um, just like before you grab the center that's kind of popping out, pull up so you see your both of your knots down there and then you're just going to grab your other string and give it a gentle pull. Um, I don't tie these off just yet because you need to know how tight to make your footboard. Um, so what I do is I like to pull my footboard out and if it folds out nicely, if it folds out nicely, then I kind of put it back and then just give it another knot right on top, just like that. Same for the other side. Um, if this is too tight, your footboard won't open. Uh, I, can, I can demonstrate that just by pulling it too far forward to make this a little tighter it won't it won't flip open but if it is loose enough um, it kind of does make a little bit of a creaking noise at, at the beginning um, but that's okay so just open it up and your leather will even out just like that and then um you can cut this off or you can leave them long and that's up to you um, and then D is this uh, sunbeam part up here. Um, traditional cradle boards have the sunbeam going out at the back like this. Um, we have modified our design and we put the sunbeam going in. Um, and that is due to a tension air issue with um, the old design, with the traditional design, with the sunbeam like this. Um, it will be, I can thread it for you here, just to give you a, a nice idea. So um, once you thread the lightning through all the, uh, the side straps or the male lightning, then you would grab this piece and it would hold the cradle board, footboard up just like this. Um, so the problem is, is that this, like this, is causing too much tension right here and often this will crack or break. Um, we've repaired many a footboard because um, there was too much tension being pulled like this and um, the holes cracked. 
So we've modified our design to go the opposite direction. So um, it will be passing up like this. Um, there's no tension when you pull it like this. Um, and it still does create a normal sunbeam. Uh, so that's the way that we tie it like that. Um, and we're kind of a little bit thinner leather right here. So I am going to tie it again twice. Um, sometimes that does happen like I was saying. Um, it's really uh, kind of a feel feeling process. But you don't want that leather to go through the hole. Um, and so you kind of want a good, nice good sunbeam about like that. And um, I'm going to cut off. You guys don't need to. Um, if you're in the, uh, the Creative Ward Workshop, it's already pre-cut for you, which is really nice. And so there is your sunbeam. Our next step is going to be um, the ears. So you're going to want to flip your cradle board around just like this. Flip your cradle board around and um, as parts go, these two parts right here are the ears. Um, and the holes up here signify pierced ears, which mean um, you want your child to be able to hear you speaking the nebazad and um, be able to understand what you're saying. Um, but a, a lot of people put leather through here to... Uh, Sorry about that, I dropped my, my leather spool. Uh, a lot of people put leather through here and they hang it up on the wall. And um, so that's what we'll do. And you'll go take your leather piece. And um, this one is labeled E in um, the, the Cradle Board kit. So you'll know which, which one that is. And you'll, there'll only be one piece of leather in there. So you won't have to worry about kind of figuring out which one it is. And um, so all you do is you're gonna thread it from the bottom up and then go down the other hole so that it makes a nice, you know, like that. And you're gonna tie just a regular knot. And like I said before, if it's loose, if it's a kind of a skinny leather, which I do seem to be working with today. I'm going to tie it twice. And that way, if you ever hang that on the wall, you never want this one to um, be able to come through the hole and um, you don't want your creative board to fall off your wall. And you want a pretty nice long one. If you're in the, the Canta workshop, just make your your knot at the end of your your um, piece of leather here. And now you've got a majority of it done. Wahoo! This is what your creative board should look like. You should have your foot board. You should have all your ties tied as well as your ears and um, your ear strap here. So the next step is going to be your rainbow. And um, we tie it differently. We, it's another one of our design changes. Um, we don't tie it the old way where um, you'll, you would stick a piece of leather through here and then, and then stick it down like this and then it comes over it. Um, we have made our, our backing, our, not, excuse me, not our backing, our side strap pieces to be um, exactly like this. So that way the large portion is at the bottom and it is holding itself on the side of the cradle board. Let me see if I can, let me flip it around the other way. That might make it a little bit more easier for you guys. That way it's not hanging off the table here. Let me get it in the view. So um, in the olden days, it would have been like this. Um, older cradle boards. Um, have their straps go down through here and then they are pushed over the edge like this. So we've kind of modified and used both designs. And so you're gonna take your uh, side strap and it's going to line up with these holes right here over the edge. Um, and it will lip 
over the edge of the crayon board. Let me bring that to you guys. So you see how it will um, essentially hold itself right there in place. This gives the rainbow more rigidity, um, less likely that it would break. Um, the old design, we've fixed many, many, many um, older creative board designs that have um, broken. Um, that is one of the other services that we do. We do make rainbows separately. Um, we do try to color match, um, you know, because we can't make it look exactly like the old creative board rainbow, but we do try. Um, and like I said, don't take this off. This will help you. So you have a nice, good, again, you see how wide it is. It's going to be just a little bit short, but um, at least it's not trying to fly off the table here and it will give it a nice, good um, tension for us. So that way we don't have to hold it. Um, now, if you are, if you have the kit, then you will be using, um, let's see, uh, it's going to be labeled F and there's going to be two in there and they're going to be quite long. They're going to be about 50 inches. Um, and that's because you're going to go through every hole twice. Um, so we, it's really difficult to try to, um, teach how to do the X cross hatch, double cross hatch pattern like this, um, especially without a punch tool, which is a little um, tool that we use. It's uh, small and skinny and it helps us thread the leather through. Without supplying you with that, we're just gonna teach you the easy way, which is, um, we call it the lightning, because it uh, will resemble um, lightning once it's done. And you will start with your knot here and with your siding. You'll take your siding and you will Put your leather through here with the knot. You will go down, sorry my hand is in the way, down through that hole. So it'll come out like this at the bottom. So uh, let me get my leather cut and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And I've got my siding right here. Um, I'm gonna take the edge, of, end of my leather. I'm gonna thread it through the first hole and down through the hole on the cradle board. So it should look like this. Let me get my hand out of the way really quick. So we're going down through this first hole right here. Um, just like that. And it's gonna come out the bottom. Now uh, you're gonna pull, pull the whole, um, the whole leather and I'm gonna double knot this one just at the end, just because, like I said, I'm using a little bit of thinner leather today. Um, and I don't want um, this leather to go through the holes on my rainbow. So uh, the first, it, the hardest part is trying to start to get this to go where you want it to go. So you're going to leave just a little bit of slack right there um, because you're gonna go through every hole twice. And that's going to create a lightning effect with the leather. Um, but, so then you take the end again, go, uh, kinda gotta hold that other piece down with your thumb so it's not really in the way. And then thread through again, through the back side. I know my hand is kind of in the way. Um, trying my best not to keep my hand in the way. So I've got the end of my leather and I'm gonna go again back down. So after this first hole, I'm not gonna be able to pick up this rainbow and show you this hole. I'm just going to be referring to hole one, two, three, one, two, three, or four, and they correspond with these holes here. Um, but it's pretty easy. You just go through every hole twice. And so then you're going to give a nice, gentle pull, pull your leather, um, make sure that it's um, not getting all twisted or bunched up. And you can kind of see it's getting just a little bit twisted in there, so you kind of want to make it straight. So after you set it down, just like this, you're going to pull it tight. You're just going to pull this bottom here like this. 
and pull it tight. So you do kind of gotta wiggle it back and forth and pull on the original leather to get that knot to go flush. And pull the front side again. And then pull it to the, pull to the back. Just so that way it is getting snug. And you'll pull it, pull it the rest of the way. So that's what it looks like so far. Because you've got your knot and your first line and your leather. Now you've gone through this hole twice already. So you're going to pull this up like this. And you're going to go in this hole twice. So see how you pull it a little bit snug? It's kind of holding its place now in through this hole down through the hole on the cradle board and it's going to come out the bottom right here just like that and you're going to pull it you kind of want it to be a little bit snug at this point because you want it to do its job you don't want it to be um you don't want to have to go through and tighten this like you did the backings um that way you know you're pulling it tight but don't pull too hard it should just be snug and then you're going to go back in so you'll, if you can look, you can see this nice little lightning pattern it's already starting to create. Um, so now we're gonna go through that hole again, just like that, through that hole and then down through the back hole. Um, sometimes you do have to hold this um, end down tight so that way you can just thread that down in there and you should see it come out the bottom. Give that a nice tug. And sometimes you do kind of got to hang on to it in other places where the leather might, you think it might be starting to come loose. So when I do that, I'm actually um, pulling on the inside here. I'm pulling this one here to hold it tight while I pull this one to come through the bottom. So that way it still stays tight. Now we've gone through that hole twice, so you're just going to go to hole number three, go through that one, and you're going to go through it twice, just like before. Um, try to keep as much tension on this, so if you have to stick your finger in hole number two in the back side here to keep this from going back in and loosening your tension, then do that. Do whatever works for you. Um, my finger's small enough that I can hold that in place just by um, sticking my finger in the back. So there we are. Kind of got to hang on a little bit here. So now I'm going to switch my finger to hole number three in the back so that way it holds onto the tension. Go through it again. And then kind of switch hands for your tension here. Push it down. And you'll get the hang of this. It's, it's rather quite easy to do. It just, um, sometimes it feels a little daunting. Um, sometimes, most of the times I don't tie the rainbows just because um, my husband likes to do um, going through the hole three times. But like I said, without a hole punch, it's not going to come out nice. Um, it's not going to be easy to go through those holes three times for you guys. So we're just doing the two hole process. And then we've gone through twice here. So now we're gonna go twice through here. Um, remember to hang on to your tension. If you don't, once you cut this pink string, it will start to um, loosen. The rainbow will start to expand and you'll see it kind of pull away. Um, but don't, don't worry too much about it right now. Um, Cause if it's, I always leave these this long um, in case I do need to go back and untie and retie it. Sometimes that does happen. Um, nobody's perfect and um, practice makes perfect. So we've been doing this for um, a little, about a half a year, but we did make, um, we have made uh, cradle boards for family members before. So um, total, you know, our first cradle board was <clears throat> our own personal cradle board six years ago um 
And that one person, uh, we have the X pattern on that, but um, I can definitely bring that out at the end and show you guys. Um, but this is what the lightning pattern looks like once you're done. So it's got that nice kind of zigzag pattern going and now you're done. You've gone through each hole twice and you're just going to tie a knot at the end here, right here. Um, that can be a little tricky because you do have to put the crater board on its side, but be very gentle and use a supporting hand or if you feel like you can't, can't um, support the crater board and tie the knot, ask for help. Um, there's no no problem asking for help so we just tie the knot here cinch it to the top give it a little pull um i don't feel like this is going to go through so i'm not going to tie it twice um later once i do the other side if i feel like putting another knot in there um i will but i do leave these long until i'm ready to cut them off so now you're going to do the same process for the other side. <clears throat> and you see how we're a little bit far away here from the holes. Um, these are strings so you can just kind of gently untie this and it should um, release some slack for you. Let's see if I can. I know my hands are in the way so it's hard for you guys to see. Um, but just undo this string very gently and you see how it's starting to loosen up with slack here. It's starting to let go here. If you don't have a middle knot like this, um, some of them don't have a middle knot, you can also just pull this string down. See how <coughs> pulling it down on both sides releases some tension. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to take a drink of water here. But do you see how loosening up that knot um, gave us some more slack here? Just like that. And then you might have to undo this other knot depending on if you're close enough. We're getting there, we're getting close enough to ours. <coughs> I know it's a rather long video, but um, it's all well worth it once, once you've got it done. There we go. You could also test, test on this pink string if you feel like it's not going to expand. Um, so like, for example, say, I take this off but look how far it expanded so if you're able to work with this go ahead and work with that um, if not if you would feel a little bit more comfortable with it being um, with the string being on there continue to loosen your knot and then um, once this side is done I'll come back and I'll show you if you need to um, pause and rewind pause and rewind to watch um, me go through that first side again by all means, go for it. Um, I definitely couldn't do it the first time that I did it either, um, and it takes practice. Um, but just know that the that's the easiest um, knot, that um, pattern that we're showing you. Um, the olden day pattern was like, uh, it would come up through here like this, <coughs> and then Through, oh, backside, I'm sorry. <coughs> this is the old pattern, and it would come through both loops like this, and then come back down and tie off. Um, that's not a significant amount of, of uh, tension for ours. It This will not hold. So if you just do this temporarily um, until you get home, uh, that's fine, but uh, um, just know that if you're putting a baby in here with a knot like this one, your crater board, your rainbow will rock back and forth, and it's more likely to break. 
So um, just keep that in mind. Um, uh, like I said, I'll do this side and then I'll meet back here later. All right, we're back. Sorry, we're moving a little bit. Um, I did get that second side done. So both sides have this nice lightning pattern here. I'm still gonna keep these pretty long. Um, I'm gonna come back and revisit and see if I want to add another knot to that. Um, but now at this point, um, you have got your rainbow on and you're gonna be doing your side straps. This particular customer wants fabric straps and that's a different kind of uh, tie. Um, so I will definitely show that to you. Um, uh, once I get the eyelets in all of the, um, the sides for the fabric, uh, but in your guys' kit, um, for, for Kanta, uh, I did include enough leather to do, uh, side straps out of leather and a lightning. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to, um, go to my doll size cradle board and show you how to do that. All right, here's my doll size cradle board. Um, I did take my, um, I did take the male side of my straps off. Um, that way I can show you how, how long to make these, uh, they're called male lightning. Um, some people call them mountains, but uh, they're, they're male lightning. So um, I can show you about how long to make each one of these male lightnings. And uh, our doll size creator board also does have six holes. So it is um, transferable to our uh, infant size and you do it exactly the same way. Um, so you are going to get your um, last package of leather it's going to be labeled g and h and they're all the same length they're all 72 inches um and it's going to have two two pieces of leather for the side strap and one for the lightning and um the lightning here for this doll side is attached to the female side the mother earth the mother earth side so if you're having a girl you need to strap the female side first. If you're having a boy, you need to strap the male side first. Um, and this is where it kind of gets a little bit more of a denotation on um, whether or not you're having a boy or a girl. Um, I'll also talk really quickly about um, the, uh, also if you're having a, a girl on this side of the rainbow, on the female side of the rainbow right here, you would place a white shell. We often get questions about this and um, I personally did not do it because I didn't have this thought until rather recently. Um, you can go to any craft store, um, Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, um, Hobby Lobby, and they're all going to have elastic, clear, stretchy cord. Um, and it's round and it's clear and it stretches you usually use it for bracelets um but you could get a bead of a white shell which is for the girl um and bead that through there and attach it to the cradle board um same thing for the boy side the boy side is actually a piece of turquoise um that way this is, that is removable if you for example say you have a boy later on down the road um you can remove that white shell and it's not affixed to your rainbow permanently. Um, you can you can then put on a piece of turquoise on the male side. And so I'm going to show you how to, sorry my lightning is kind of getting in the way a little bit here. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So our side straps are completely one entire piece. Um, you don't need to cut them. You don't need to uh, pretty much do anything except for a little bit of maneuvering and wiggling and moving them around. So I'm going to kind of show you the bottom side so that you can see what it looks like from the bottom. On the female side, this is the end right here. And each one of these 
pulls out because you've you've pinched this leather and pushed it in and this hole as well so this is going to start on hole number two so you're going to put a knot in the end of your one of your side straps and you're going to thread up in hole number two so you're going to put it up through hole number two now you don't pull it all the way because um, this is the end like I just showed you right here. So it's going to need to be about this long right here, just like this one, this long. So now you've, you kind of got to hold that a little bit. So um, now what you do is you've got this piece here and it's coming out. You're going to skip hole three and you're going to pinch your leather in half and go down into hole number four. And the way that you do that is you come a little bit over the middle line, just like this, a little bit over the middle line. And this is exactly the same for an infant size cradle board. Um, the reason that you don't make your male lightning straps too long is you want your female lightning the one that actually holds the baby in the cradle board to do its job. Um, and that's to go back and forth between every male lightning. So if you have these two long, you're going to end up overlapping them while the baby is in the cradle board and it's not going to give good enough support. Um, so you do not want to make these too long. Same thing for fabric straps. Do not make your siding straps too long or baby will not have, be supported and they'll actually be able to roll over in the cradle board and you don't want that. Okay, so now we're gonna go down hole number four. So all you do is you pinch your leather in half like this, pinch it in half, and you're going to place it all the way down inside hole number four just like that and it should start coming out the bottom here it really helps if you keep your um your uh leather together and not um twisted or bunched up that way it comes out really nicely and um, so what you're gonna do is you can't put this through here yet otherwise you won't be able to put it through this hole here so you need to leave this kind of hang and this a little bit long that's where the kind of maneuvering comes in. You, um, you'll really be learning how to, uh, sorry about that. You'll really be learning how to maneuver your leather to make it that long. So see how it doesn't go as long now? Don't worry about it because you still need to maneuver it around. So now you're coming out of hole four, you're gonna skip hole five and you're gonna go completely down with the entire leather all the way down hole five. You're not gonna pinch, you're just gonna go all the way down and you're gonna make it a little bit over the middle line right here. Let me zoom it in for you. So just a little bit over the middle line. So you've come down all the way through hole number six. So you're going to come back up through hole number five. Push it through up through hole number five pull it make sure you're not caught on your backing or anything like that pull it so now you're coming out through hole number five now you're gonna go up to hole number three so you need it to be about the same length pinch off your leather again and go down through hole number three so at this point you've now got two loops down here and you're gonna thread this bottom line through those two hoops, just like that, both of them. And you are going to pull them a little bit snug, not too much because like I said, you are still maneuvering. So you pull from the front, so that way the side strap is grabbing a hold of this and it's um, staying straight. So you wanna lay it flat as much as possible pull 
So now both of these are in place. Both of these are in place and you are about at the middle line. Like I said, kind of got a little bit of finagling to do. Almost all of them are at the middle line or just a little bit past. So now your last hole is hole number one. Go down through hole number one and you are going to go just past the middle line again and you're going to tie off and make your knot. Um, so you might have to mark where you're at. So say like here you are and I've pulled, I've marked right here. That's where my knot needs to be. So you take your leather and you just make a knot. Um, this one has already been uh, pre-knotted <laughs> and it was already um, bent in place. So it kind of already knew where to bend. Um, yours won't be like that really. Um, so do you kind of see how this one's a little bit longer? So you kind of got to work with that a little bit. So kind of push it down and then pull out. So that way it kind of gets a little bit more finagled. Okay, there we go. There, we're pretty even there. I'm happy with that. Um, the next step is your lightning. Um, we, I did not make any of you guys this little um, knot, um, but you're just going to tie your lightning on just with a regular size knot. Um, just exactly the same kind of knot that we've been doing. Um, right now, your cradle board, um, we would not string the lightning um, on your cradle board because you have not put your baby in there and you haven't blessed the cradle board. If you don't plan on putting a baby in your cradle board ever, you can go ahead and string your lightning. For this doll size cradle board, I've made a tiny cushion that I have in there because my, my daughters love to play with this. Um, so I will show you how to strap the lightning. Um, but on your infant size one, if you have um, not blessed your cradle board with the um, Chi Red Sand Powder and the Sheep Fat, do not tie your lightning. Um, now say your baby has outgrown your cradle board. You can tie, you can tie it up. As long as the baby has already been in there, you can tie up the, uh, the lightning. But do not do it beforehand. Um, also, when you go to go bless your cradle board, a lot of people uh, ask us this question as well. Um, you mix a paste of red sand powder and sheep fat. And if you're having a girl, you start on the girl side from the top, go down around the footboard and back up the boy's side. And then you start on the outside of the rainbow like this on the girl side, go to the boy and then come back on the inside and go back to the girl. Same thing with the back. So you gotta remember now that you're flipped and the girl side is on the cradle board's right. You still have to start here. Go down, around, and back up. Um, that's, we're traditional, so we, we um, follow our traditional um, beliefs. And uh, you will notice that if you ever bought a cradle board from us ever, that we've never tied your lightning. Um, so here is, unless you bought a doll size or an ornament size, then that's different. But the infant one, we, we would never tie it. Um, we, we wait for you, the customer, to tie it. So um, here's your lightning. Um, now if you're having a girl, right side, cradle board's right. If you're having a boy, you're gonna tie it over here. Um, but because this is a doll, and um, more than likely a girl will be putting a girl doll in it, we just denotate to the right side. So you're gonna take the end of your lightning and you're going to pass through the top on the other side, just like this. And now pass through the second on the female side. Don't get your lightning mixed up. And you kind of want it to be snug, but not too snug. And now the second on the male side, just like that. The third on the female side, just like that. Third on the male side, just like that. 
And then the fourth on the female side, we're coming to the end here. Um, a lot of times I make the lightning really long because um, uh, you never know how long the mother wants to keep their baby in the cradle board. And the older the baby, the bigger the baby. And um, so essentially this will start spreading out. And uh, so the bigger the baby you have, the more lightning you're going to use. And um, like I said, you want the lightning to do its job. You never want your male lightning on each side to touch. If they touch, it's too long. And you need to go back and trim off somewhere and start again. Um, so at this point, you're at the end and you go through the footboard. I double loop when I go through the foot footboard. That's just personal, personal preference of mine. Not a lot of people I know do it. And then I go one, two, three, up underneath like this. And I do pull it a little bit more. And then I make just a normal knot, just like that. Sometimes I make a bread knot, um, but for just the simplicity of, of it right now, I just showed you the regular knot. And then I do um, kind of tuck in the rest of the lightning so that way it's not hanging out or getting caught on anything. And there you have it. You just need to do both sides of your siding in order um, to get to this point. And uh, you should be ready to go to put your baby in there. Um, I'm going to put the eyelets on my infant size cradle board that we were working on earlier and I will be back so that way I can show you the other way that I tie the side straps down for fabric straps. Um, that's really important. Uh, you can use the same amount of leather uh, that I give you so that way if you don't want leather straps you can definitely make your own fabric straps um, and, and go from there and you'll still be able to use the same amount of leather that I gave you. Um, but I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I got all the eyelets put into the side straps that my customer has wanted. Um, and I've got um, my leather. So if you are um, at the cancer workshop and you want fabric straps, um, this is a, a really simple design that um, I've come up with. I taper it. Um, especially in the front right here um, so that way it doesn't choke baby um, it will actually whoop, let me get it turned around here there you go it'll taper downwards so that way it accommodates for baby growing as well um, and I do double up this fabric right here so there are four layers of fabric right here where my eyelids are that's to give the side straps more rigidity um, and so what what I do is I place the eyelets right over exactly where all my holes are going to be and you start with your bottom hole now this does kind of look a little um, weird at first but once you get it all laid it'll be fine so you come up through number six and then you go through number six hole on the fabric straps Pull a lot. You will have a lot of extra leather, but that's okay. And then down through number five and through the hole on the cradle board. And it kind of helps sometimes if you turn it a little bit sideways. Gives it a little bit um, more room for you to work with on the bottom. Don't worry about it being all twisted right now because we're gonna go back and fix it. And then you're gonna go up through number four. <coughs> this and then through number four hole on the side straps just like this down through number three and on the cradle board side you're going to pull it through sorry you can't really see number three and then up through number two right here and then up through number two on the straps. 
pull down through number one on the straps right here and then down through hole number one so once you get that all on there like that and let it go sideways here so that you can see you're gonna end up with two long bars on your bottom but three on the top um, um, this is what holds down the cradle board and then once you have these tight and tied um, it'll look a lot better so I'm gonna continue doing that really quick so uh, the leather that's coming out through hole number one you just make a knot and again we're working with thin leather so we're double knotting double knotting here and then we're gonna pull from the front side, just like this. I know the rainbow's a little bit in the way, but pull from the front side, just like this, so that the knot is tight. And you're gonna pull snug and pull with your finger. You're gonna have all that extra, that's fine. Pull from the bottom of number two. This is where you want your leather to lay flat. So do you see how the leather's starting to lay flat? You're gonna be doing the same thing on the bottom. You want the leather to lay flat, but you're, you're pulling, you're making a lot of tension. Don't worry about this puckering, you'll never see it. The cushion will be on top of it. So then we go back to the bottom here. So you've got this lot of gap. You're going to pull from number three in the front. Just like that, see how it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And then you want to pull it tight, not too tight. Remember, we don't want it to break. And then you've got a lot of extra on top. And you're going to pull from number four on the bottom. The whole thing. And keep it um, nice looking leather side up, the this, this soft side up, so that way it matches. And you'll start to see this pattern form. So now you're going to and pull from the front of number five. See, but we want it to be um, straight here. So I'm going to go like this and twist it. See, now you've got your two straight lines here. And now all you need to do is pull down from number six like this. And voila, your straps are attached make your knot here at the bottom and leave your ends long um as long as you want them i make them fairly long so that way um it's easier to take them off and put them on if baby ever like um lets out of their diaper or spits up on them you want this bottom one rather long and skinny leather again so unfortunately there will be two knots right here, but that's okay. Just kind of pull it up a little bit so that way it goes behind that other knot. And just give it a little bit of a pull. And there you are. Leave it long so that you can untie it um, so you, that you can wash your side straps. Um, and I'm going to be putting on the other side um, off camera, but that is the end of our video. Um, I can show you what the um, what my cushion looks like here this is my cushion just like this um, it is a two inch cushion so with the straps up here you'll notice that um, when i put this other strap on it's going to come just like this so it's barely going to touch here Oops. Barely gonna touch here in the front, touch a little bit, touch a little, little bit, but once you put your baby in there, this is not going to touch at all. And um, I have not attached the lightning yet. I usually will sew it on to whichever side um, is, is baby, but this customer does not want to find out what they're having. So um, they're waiting for their baby to be born. So it's a surprise for them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to attach um, put a, a button in the lightning and um, two button holes right here on either side so that way they can attach the lightning on whichever side their baby is. And 
here's my rain. I do like to put a little bit of a nice uh, trim on my rain. It gives it a nice little, um, a nice little uh, touch there. So the rain is, goes over just like that. And that's your cradle board. Yay, I hope you've been, you have learned from this tutorial. I know that I have. I have not made a tutorial before. And so uh, hopefully we'll be making more in the near future. Um, probably we'll be doing one about uh, the origin story of Cradle Boards and um, like what not to do, etc. Um, a lot of a lot of our um, younger generation don't have um, access to talk with their grandparents anymore to know um, a little bit more about their cradle boards. So we, we're glad that you were able to join us. Thank you so much. Bye.